It's always amazing to me to find out which movies have their own animated TV show. For instance, the Mask animated series that was based off the Jim Carrey movie that came out a year after. But what we're talking about today is Beetlejuice the Animated Series. And since Beetlejuice Beetlejuice is coming out this Friday, I thought this was a great excuse to talk about this show. What's interesting about the show is that it was actually created by Tim Burton. And he even did the designs for the creatures, the world. That's why the entire show has his aesthetic, which makes a lot of sense. I think the show is kind of odd. If you're a big fan of the movie, this takes a new interesting direction where Lydia and Beetlejuice are best friends. Even though in this one, she's a lot younger. Some say that she's 12 years old in this show and Beetlejuice is a grown ass man. If you look past the age gap, it is kind of a sweet uh, relationship as Lydia is the more mature one for her age and Beetlejuice is the more childlike, uh, carefree man-child who just does whatever he wants. A lot of the show's humor actually comes from <laughs> the best way I could describe it sense of humor is there's one episode where Lydia can't hang out with Beetlejuice because Lydia is babysitting. So this gives Beetlejuice the idea of starting his own babysitting company, but he takes that literally and he thinks that he can get paid from sitting on babies much to Lydia's horror. Beetlejuice in the show is more likable in the sense of like, he tries to be a good friend to Lydia, but it is kind of a strange, weird feeling because again, if you're going into this with the mindset of the movie, you, you gotta wash that away because it just feels odd. To me, Beetlejuice is in the same category as Freddy Krueger, where you love watching him, you love the theatrics, the personality, the charisma, but you need to see him fail. Beetlejuice and Freddy Krueger cannot win. They are not heroes. <laughs> they should lose as many times as possible. Although between the two, I'd rather Beetlejuice win than Freddy Krueger because of obvious reasons. It's always such a charm to see Beetlejuice as a lovable goofball. And to have this relationship with Lydia is interesting, albeit... I, I don't know, I don't know if it's creepy, but eh, I don't know. The show ran for four seasons and over 90 plus episodes, which is crazy. So the show did do something right. I mean, <laughs> this is a really cute cartoon show as it shows not only a different dynamic between Beetlejuice and Lydia, but this is giving Tim Burton the chance to like fully like embrace his inner artistry. He'd like, like his style is everywhere we get to see his world be expanded upon granted this is a new take this is an alternate take on his beetlejuice world but it's just cool to see his own designs for certain monsters environment pieces it was so i mean if you're a big tim burton fan this is a feast for the eyes and i really do love the art style and design especially for lydia lydia is such a terrific character in this Part of me kind of wants to say that she's more fleshed out in this show than she was in the movie. She's more grounded and level-headed than Beetlejuice. And I just really like how she does take certain situations seriously. She does want to have fun. She wants to hang out with Beetlejuice and have a good time, go on these grand adventures. But whenever there's something that Beetlejuice does, and it's a little too far, like with his babysitting services, she does try to reel him back to more reality. She tries to put more sense into this wild card that is a Beetlejuice. But I love her motherly side, how she always tries to take care of not only Beetlejuice, but other people, making sure that they're okay, making sure that like everyone's happy, having a good time, and just how overly nice she is and just so wonderful to hang out with, especially if you're a horror fan. I imagine getting some really fun conversations about horror movies with Lydia or just horror things in general like you just know she'd be a big fan of Silent Hill I'm just saying she seems like she's fun to hang out with just as much as Beetlejuice although I'd rather hang out with her than Beetlejuice because you might die especially with the movie version of Beetlejuice I watched this way back when when I was uh god how old was I <laughs> I watched it when I was a kid, and I never found myself wanting to go back to it. I mean, I thought it'd be fun to go back because the new movie was coming out, but it has its qualities. It really does. If you're a big Beetlejuice fan and you're interested in the show, you never heard of it, yeah, I'd say check it out. I mean, they're selling it for $25 at Walmart, so this is a perfect time to get into the series. But if you're a fan of Beetlejuice, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video.